Hey everyone, it's Sue. Um, I'm here today with about something very exciting. Um, I have worked with a, a lovely couple and we have come up with this idea of a book binding caddy. So if you're like me, um, when I go to bind my journals, I'm trying to find my awl, trying to find my thread, trying to find my needles, looking for a cradle, running around madly, trying to find bits and pieces. By the time I sit down to actually do the to bind the journal, I'm a little bit over it. So we came up with this idea of a book binding caddy. So everything is all in one place. It can be stored on a shelf, in a drawer, and when you're ready to do it, you just grab it out and you have everything that you need. So I just wanted to share that with you today and just show you how to put the cradle together. Uh, so this is our lovely book binding caddy. Um, I'm just going to turn it this way so that you can see it a little bit better. So it comes in this beautiful box and I don't know if you remember the old style pencil cases that has the slide out lid. So we have a slide out lid. Let's move my sewing machine out of the way. And that comes off. Okay. So as you can see, it's made up of three petitions. So in this petition, you can put your awl, your clips, your needles, your scissors, all those sorts of things. And then you have four... Uh, spindles to put on um, your reels of cotton, your binding cotton. I'll show you my caddy in a minute how I've set it up, but this is actually what you get if you purchase one of these. Um, so in this longer petition here, you actually get the bits and pieces for your cradle and a wooden ruler so that you can measure where you want to place your holes. Okay, so I'm just going to take this out. Now, some people might like to have their cradle glued, ready to go, and they don't have to worry about putting it together every time. I, I personally prefer just to pack it down and put it away, um, and it's all preference. But even if you set this up so that it's got all your binding tools and everything in it, if you wanted to glue your cradle together, you could have it sitting on top so that you just grab the box and the cradle and you're good to go. So I'm just going to pop this to the side. And I'm just going to quickly show you how to put the cradle together. So it comes with these pieces like this, and they come with little lugs. So they will actually lock in to the end uh, stays, I guess you could call them. So you can see there they lock in. So when you put it in, make sure that it clicks down and then you get the other side and do the same. So pop it in and click it down. Now I just turn it, scoot it around like this and do the other side. Pop them in the holes like so and click them down. And it's not this hard, I'm just making it, I'm a bit nervous <laughs> showing you. So that's locked in. Now you could use it like that, but it's not 100% stable. So we've got these other two legs that we pop in to these holes here and they just clip in nicely in here. And this is where if you want to keep it together all the time, you can just pop a little bit of super glue in here and glue these in. And then the same with the ends if you wish to. And there you have your cradle. It's nice and stable, not going anywhere. And then you can pop your um, signatures in here, your journal in here, and make your binding. Okay, so that is the cradle. So it's very stable. And then just to pull it down, it's as easy as just repeating the process, taking them down, taking the ends off, and you're done. And it all just fits nice and neatly back in here into your caddy. Just like this. And there you have your caddy. It's all put away, so it doesn't take long to put up or pull down. Put it away, stick it on a shelf, in a drawer, ready for next time. 
So we've worked on this for quite a few months and we're really happy with the finished project. Um, and I hope that you will enjoy it as well and it make your ease of binding um, your journals so much easier. So I'm just going to show you mine that I have set up. So same thing, I've got my cradle in here, a wooden ruler so that I can measure for binding. I've put all my clips, my all. I will put um, just a little pair of scissors in here and my needles, um, I was just using my needles so I'll put them back when I'm finished. And then you've got your little spindles here for your cotton. Now these are a little bit fiddly to get in and they hold any standard, so I use like a linen cotton by Guterman, um, which is my preference for binding. Um, so Guterman, Metla, any of those. If you have any other bigger spools of thread, so say like this one, um, like a wax linen, there's no reason why they can't just pop in here and the lid will still close without a problem okay um, so I'll just show you these so what I found the best way to do with these is um, I actually just need to take these back out again to show you sorry so they come out like this so this is your little spindle and you've got your um, cotton reel here. Now, um, this one that I've got was the actual, just the prototype and I had to play around with it. But what we've done this time on the finished product is if you can see, we've put little notches. I'm not sure whether you can see that some little notches here so that when you're winding off your thread and you're finished with it, you can just put it in the notch and it's ready to, to go next time around and there's no getting any tangled mess. Okay, so when you do this, you need to just pop your, um, let me just pop my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. Just pop your spool in first, obviously. Pop your spindle through the hole. I hope my head doesn't come into screen. I'm sorry if it does and you're just going to pop it through to the other end of your spool and I tip it, it's just easier, just tip it towards me a little bit and you can see where that spindle goes in and it just clicks in there and there you have it. So you can, um, even though the threads have, you can put your threads, um, tuck them in the bottom of your spools. So in the, as I said, this is the prototype, um, in the others they, we do have actually a little nick there so you can put your thread in the nick and then it's ready to go when you're ready to bind. So that's that's my exciting release. Um, I'm really, really happy with it. Um, excited to share it with all of you. And um, I hope you love it. And I will put a link down below where you can find it on my shop. Um, I have already sold out um, all that I had once. So um, I, think, I think you'll find that it's going to be something that will just make, as I said earlier, binding your journal just that little bit easier and stress-free and you've got everything all in one place. All right, so just wanted to share that with you. I hope you like it and um, head on over to the website and have a look. Thanks so much for your support, guys. And until next time, I hope you get a little bit of crafting time in. Take care.